Guys, my name is Hicham Malkit and I'll give you a persuasive speech today about controlling firearms with proper use. How can we properly have citizens use firearms in an orderly and proper use? The first thing I said is let's raise up the age to buy a gun to 21 instead of 18. Most mass shootings that, have, that you've seen are people that are underage and are able to uh, find ways to get their hands on guns. Second thing I say is Let's have mandatory background checks on everyone, every single person that wants to buy a gun if, we're, if we still sell guns. And what I mean by that is criminal checks for people that have you know, criminal backgrounds and have been to jail or anything. Second thing is um, if they have a mental, mental illness, they can go to a doctor and stuff, make sure you know, they know how to properly use a gun because most mass shooters are mentally ill and have something wrong inside their head. And number, the third thing is we want to all come home back to our... Number one thing is to come home to our families and be safe, you know? Third thing is, firearms are deadly and unnecessary. The U Did y'all know the U.S. leads all countries with the most mass shootings, which isn't a good thing? Um, we don't want to be recognized by that. And one, one way we can fix that is by, you know, reducing gun, gun purchases or just cut off guns in general. Um, if this problem is not solved, more mass shootings are going to happen. And not just hundreds of people are going to die, thousands of, of thousands of people are going to die, and no one really wants that, and that's not good for the future of our generations. Fourth thing is, the ways we can prevent mass shootings. Like I said, we, the first thing we can do is stop production of guns and only sell to the military. Um, what I mean by that, well, who, who protects us? The military. So they should be able to have guns so against, for, to fight against other countries. And like I said uh, earlier, the second thing is to raise the age to buy a gun. And that's the most important thing. Um, or just completely cut off guns in the U.S. The third thing, like I said again, let's have background checks at minimal. At, if, at minimum if, uh, if they don't prohibit buying guns. So let's have background checks over me mental illness and any psychological problems as well as criminal background checks. And one thing I want to tell y'all is every life is important no matter what you do. Um, with kids, you don't want to be the one whenever you're older and have a, the school call you and say um, your kid has been shot over a mass shooting. No one wants to hear that news and it's devastating. And I want to change that. Every life is important. Like I said, a change in each community around the U.S. would, ha uh, would happen if my plan is adopted. More smiles, less deaths. You wouldn't have to worry about your safety when in public schools, and when you're in public or uh, your kids whenever they're in school. Third thing is, let's prohibit guns. Let's just let the military um, be able to have guns for future wars if we do have wars or just in general for safety. But for us, we don't really need guns. We have bats, tasers, um, pepper spray, any weapon that would kill someone but would protect you if you, you don't feel safe with a gun at your house. And there's another way. No more guns, less deaths. Plain and simple. We continue to have mass shootings because of, because of irresponsible people that own guns, and that isn't okay. So guns should be prohibited, or the age requirement should go up, including background checks. You don't want your family members to die. No one wants their family members to die, like I said. And the number one reason I made this speak for you is because guns, guns are deadly and... Uh, there's no way, other way to solve the mountain, so we just completely cut it off. And this is my workshop page over for my speech. And I would just like to thank y'all so much for listening to me. And thank you so much.